Tony Campos, uh, bass player for Static X, uh, rumored to be the bass player and singer for Asasino, not confirming or denying. And uh, you're watching some shit, I don't know. New Static X record, uh, it's called Cannibal, comes out April 3rd, and uh, it's some pretty cool, heavy stuff. Uh, it's like more towards, even more towards the old school, like, Wisconsin Death Trip type sound than the last record, so, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, we start up uh, next week, next this Friday coming up, so, uh, got a pack. Uh, we're doing, I think, like 10, 11 weeks, so, um, yeah, we're going to be out for a long time, so we'll, we'll be coming to, to your town one, one of these days. Uh, playing, um, like, when I was a kid, Three, three guys really influenced me. Um, uh, being um, you know, Cliff Burton from Metallica, um, Dan Loker from SOD, and uh, uh, Rob Nicholson from Cryptic Slaughter, uh, who's now better known as Blasco from Rob Zombie's band. Uh, yeah, those guys did some really cool shit. And, you know, when I was a kid, who really just you know influenced me. To, to, to play the way I do, and then to a certain extent, um, uh, Kerry King and Jeff Henneman from Slayer, is uh, you know you can't really hear the bass on Slayer records to begin with. And then when I was a kid, I used to have a turntable. I don't know if anybody knows what that is, but uh, you know, turntable is like play the vinyl, you know, put the needle on. You know? Yeah, I'm old. So, <laughs> yeah, but I'm uh, yeah. Uh, so you know, I, I couldn't hear the bass on those records. So I play everything the guitar did, which is why I can play a million miles an hour now. Because trying to keep up with, with uh, Jeff Hanneman and Terry, you know. You know, um, you know, finish up this tour uh, in like second week of June. And try to jump on a big summer tour. Go uh, go hit Europe. Uh, go back to Australia, definitely. Um, you have to go back and get your phone. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'll find my phone that I, that I lost out there last time hanging out with El Nino, you know, those guys, man. You guys were with El Nino last Yeah, time. yeah, we yeah. were out there with El Nino, had a blast, uh, too much of a blast because I lost my phone. Um, so yeah, 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 so, yeah, somebody's got Wayne's number. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep touring and, uh, you know, uh, in, in the downtime, you know, uh, Keep doing cool stuff, you know. Tracking, tr tracking stuff with Dino or, or whoever, you know. Nice. Uh, stay busy and keep playing, you know. That's what I love to do. Nice. Yeah. So, um, so I, I bugged Fernandez for a little bit uh, to make me a, a bass that I could record with because I had this old, this old uh, custom uh, P bass that that I had built as a four string, and uh, sounds great. You know, it sounds awesome in the studio, and uh, I wanted a five string. So uh, I gave him all the specs of the wood, you know, it's uh, 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 flip, a quilt maple top over a uh, swamp ash body, uh, maple neck, um, ebony fingerboard, and uh, and then Hipshot sent me these cool, uh, these tuners, all, all the raw pieces, and then I had them uh, anodized blue, uh, the tuners, uh, the knobs, uh, the bridge, had it all anodized blue and uh, sent it back to them, they assembled the, the pieces, and then I shipped it all off the to Japan and um, five months later came back with this nice. and uh, I just finished tracking with it sounds great uh, plays awesome really nice slow action and, you know I couldn't be happier man it made me really awesome bass so How thank you, you Fernandez uh, I've been playing their stuff since about ni late 99 man you know like when when we hadn't really like barely got out you know um, a lot of companies, you know, I went to a couple major companies and, uh, you know, they didn't really seem interested and, in, you know, Fernandez are like, yeah, I'll give you whatever you want, you know, and they've always been cool with me, you know, anytime I want anything, I go down there, grab a bass, hey, I need a couple bases, here you go, you know, no questions asked, they're, they're great to work with and, uh, you know, couldn't be happier. This is a, uh, a Tremor 5 Deluxe with uh, the EMGs. Um, 
stock they come with uh, two P5s. Um, I put a P5 in here and a, and a DC, a dual coil in the back. And uh, the combination sounds great. Um, yeah, I mainly just use the, the Turner 5s. Uh, I have a couple of gravities that have J pickups in them that screwing around at home, you know, but, uh, but the Trender's been my mainstay for, you know, for, you know, the better part of my, uh, my Static X career, so, you know, and I, I love these bases. Uh, now I'm using, um, Dunlop, they just started making strings, and, uh, you know, uh, we, the band Static, we weren't too happy with our, uh, our previous endorsement deal, and, uh, you know, when Dunlop started making them, you know, they they, uh, they sent me out a set, try them out, and uh, they're great. They they're bright, and they can you know take a pounding, and they'll stay bright for you know for about a week of of, of gigging, you know. And you know, my my last strings, you know, I'd have to change them out every night because they the next day they they'd sound like ass, you know, from all the sweat and you know. So um, you know, I'm happy with these strings. They're very, very good, very good strings. Um, all, um, you know, depending on the song, um, you know, some stuff I, I just feels better playing with your fingers, and you know, obviously the fast stuff, you know, requires a pick. And I've, been, I've been trying to do it with like three fingers, you know, like, but you know, I still can't keep up with <laughs> with my, my picking. So, you know, maybe one day I'll, I'll get to the point where I can do this just as fast as I can do that. So, but, you know, we'll see. Um, I met, um, Wayne and, uh, Ken, the original drummer, um, back in, oh, I think it was like 96, and, uh, I was jamming in a death metal band at the time, uh, but we didn't have anywhere to rehearse, uh, we weren't doing any gigs, and we were just sitting on our asses, and, you know, at, at first I, I turned them down, I was like, nah, I'm already in the gig, I got a band, you know, blah, blah. Then after thinking about it for a week, I'm like, you know what, I ain't doing shit. Let me go jam with these guys. So I started jamming with them, and for a couple of years, I was in both bands. And then when the death metal band broke up, you know, I just still kept jamming with, with Static, and you know, little did I know that we'd get signed, and, you know, I'd make a career out of this. So, you know, and it was funny because like at the time I was like going to school, you know, trying to get my degree, and you know working full-time, trying to go to school full-time, and, it, it, you know, it got to a point where I, I couldn't afford it anymore, my financial aid ran out, and it was just like, I was at a point where, like, fuck, what am I going to do with my life? And then, you know, things started happening for the band, and, oh, let's see where this goes, and, you know, years later, here I am, doing what I love, and getting paid for it. It's pretty fucking cool. Uh, yeah, you know, we, 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 there's several really good cities for us, um, like Las Vegas, uh, San Antonio, um, Chicago, it's really good. Um, yeah, I, I think those those three are like my favorites. And, and then, you know, playing homes, playing in LA is cool because I get to go home the other night. But, uh, hey, Tony Campos here. Thanks for watching. And uh, see you out on the road. Stay metal. <laughs>